Hey there, Tony. It's Chris. Hope you are well. Um, sending you over an itemized fee sheet that illustrates two loan options, one with 15% down that would require monthly mortgage insurance and the other one with 20% down. Um, I'll touch, touch excuse me, on the high level stuff. So 350 is the purchase price for both. As I mentioned in my text message to you earlier today, um, I think it's a good idea to propose an increase in the sales price. You and I can discuss what that magic number is, um, but the idea behind the increase in the sales price is to ask for that m money immediately back in the form of a credit uh, to offset your cash to close. I have not illustrated that option here, so this is assuming um, we stick to 350 for the purchase price with no credits. So that being said, uh, loan amount of 297500 if we're doing 15% down, which means you're at 52500 for your down payment. Interest rate 7.625. Ouch, that's a really high rate. Um, we're banging on the ceiling. And what I mean by that is that there are no higher rates currently offered than 7.625. Um, and for that reason, uh, the lender would be charging you uh, some points. Um, let me highlight it here. So in terms of a percentage, that is the number illustrated there. And the dollar amount is... Um, 23 dollars 23 and 48 cents, $2,323 and 48 cents. Uh, directly below that is the uh, cost of um, brokering the loan. So this is the, if you can believe it, the less expensive option because us discounting our, our commission um, to one and a half percent, normally we receive two and a quarter from the lender as commission for brokering a loan to them. Um, but in this instance, I'm switching it so that you pay our, our broker uh, commission instead of the bank, and we've reduced it to one and a half percent. So that um, equates to roughly $4,500 in fees in the for, for the commission. Um, skipping to the end here, what we're looking at is an out-of-pocket of approximately $68,000 a total monthly payment of $25.77 and $0.47. Cents. Um, now, keep in mind, this is showing your monthly property taxes and your homeowner's insurance, but we have the option to waive that so that you don't have to pay that out of pocket uh, every month with the mortgage. It's a little bit of a pay me now, pay me later situation, but in this instance, your property tax bill um, will not be due until next April. So it uh, allows you a little bit of time to um, keep the payments lower and then pay the property taxes out of pocket when it comes due in April next year. Uh, the property tax bill in April will also be the lower, um, based on the lower amount of what the property is currently assessed for from when the current owners purchased it. So that being in mind, there will be a supplemental tax bill that comes out um, that may come out in April, but it may not come out until the end of next year, um, or I should say the, the fourth quarter of next year. So it's a little bit of a, a, a pay me now, pay me later, as I mentioned. So it's a way for us to defer some costs, to keep your costs lower, um, to buy us time for an opportunity to refinance in 2023. Now, um, with regards to what we're looking at for 20% down, here is that. Now the rate would improve, um, but it's not an apples to apples improvement. Let me explain. So 7.25% is the rate that we have illustrated here. So 0.4% um, better on the rate. Uh, this is a 7.6 adjustable rate mortgage, meaning it's fixed for seven years and then it can adjust every six months after that. Um, again, this is the highest rate that the lender is currently offering, um, and it's available because you're doing 20% and not 15%. Um, but the lender would charge you roughly uh, 2865 in fees, uh, aka points, and then you have our broker commission as well, $4,200. Um, and then skipping down, total out-of-pocket, um, $85,288. Um, sorry, 282 and change. But your monthly payment drops down um, over $200 a month, 23, 20, uh, sorry, 23.33. Um, and then if we do not, again, do not 
um, impound for property taxes or insurance, then you're looking at 1910 uh, a month for your monthly payment to the lender. So 1910 versus uh, call it 2207 um, a month. So 1910, 2207, uh, roughly $300 difference in terms of for your monthly payments. Uh, between getting rid of the mortgage insurance and then lowering the principal and interest payment. So um, there's no right or wrong option here. Both have value. Obviously, the 20% down is more upfront costs. Um, and I think we can make a decision on what you ultimately want to do um, as we get further into the pro process. Um, and I, I say that to say, hey, if, if there's some some things that are going to cost us some upfront money in terms of repairs, then maybe the 15% option is the better way to go because it keeps more cash on hand. Um, with either of these options, I am going to propose that we talk about increasing the purchase price, you know, $10,000, uh, and then asking for a credit back from the, the seller. Um, so let's say we increase it from 350 to 360. We tell the seller, hey, we'll we'll do a 90-10 split where you give us $9,000 in a credit and then you uh, will, you ultimately, they ultimately pocket an extra thousand dollars by agreeing to sell it to us for 360. So it's a, it's a way for you to finance your closing costs ultimately by doing that. Um, but it would, it's a direct dollar for dollar benefit to you because a $9,000 credit is going to result in your cash to close um, being $9,000 less. So in the 15% option, then that means that your cash to close drops down to, uh, you know, 68,500. Um, sorry, no, 58,500. And then the 20% down option, you'd be looking at um, 76,000 and change for your out of pocket. So uh, both, both have merit. So anyways, I'll give you a call tomorrow, but I'll text you this video tonight and we can chat more. Thanks.